Hey folks, this is IOE, so we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Anakin Dude Cool in his Thunderbolt. It's a tier 8 game, actually, on steps, and it's an encounter battle. Ooh. So we're bottom tier. This should be fun. Uh, he is platooned up with Slick Sick Rick in the SG-100, so if this thing parks in a safe spot and uses its sniper gun, then uh, he should be able to do some damage. However, this tank is going to have to get up in the enemy's face. Um, well, not going to have to. He can use that gun as a little pew pew kind of thing, um, but it's not going to do quite as much as he would like. Um, and he's not nearly fast enough to flank the enemy, so he's going to have to position correctly at the start of this game in order to have any success later on. Uh, before we get into the game, though, I do want to say, uh, if you think this deserves the MB MVP for the week, then please hit that like button. Uh, if you uh, don't like this kind of content, please, you know, just like, that's perfectly fine. And uh, if you do want to see more of this, then hit the subscribe button and the little notifications, right? Well, that's the end of that guy. And of course, uh, lastly, in all things, please thank the patrons for they are amazing, and they don't get nearly enough credit. Uh, so Slick Rick has decided to camp out in the middle of nowhere, not even behind a bush. That's not the slickest thing I've ever seen. Um, but then neither is this AMX 57, thir 1357, who apparently just does the same run over and over again. And expects not to get shot, um, which is obviously not working out very well for him. Wow, I forgot the rate of fire on this thing is amazing. Um, though, after he got himself spotted, he probably shouldn't have then back that cover. Uh, it didn't didn't really matter because obviously we only got tracked by Type 64, but it still would have been very bad to get hit by something a lot bigger like the the Roomba or even that thing. Unfortunately, not landing the shell, but that's okay. So, most of our team is down here. Now, as much as that's great in a standard battle, this is an encounter. So, this is actually still the most important thing on the map. Yes, if you can sweep through here quickly, then, then this is a good tactic. However, our entire push has stalled right here. Uh, and so, this is turn fastering into not a good tactic. Uh, Slick Rick looks like he's in some trouble, um, and Anakin's trying to get himself in the way. No, actually, he's not trying to get himself in the way. He's just trying to shoot the guy. <laughs> there we go. Slick Rick picking up the kill, and then we bounce off a Cromwell. I don't know how you bounce off a Cromwell um, with 108, 28 pen. There is no part of that Cromwell you should be able to bounce off of. But apparently we did, so mm, I'm gonna guess auto bounce angles somehow. Maybe. Yeah, because you can't overmatch this, right? So he is uh, now taking pot shots from both enemy or both uh, guys popping in. Are, are they t platooned up? No, they're just coordinating their attacks really well, and so they're both um, alternating who shoots at him. And when they do that, then it's really hard for him to get any real damage in. Now the Cromwell has circled around behind us, but well, Slick Rick takes care of that. And uh, now there's no more Cromwell, and this T-35 is starting, or T-34 is starting to feel a bit silly for being out in the open here. Oh, drops down to one health though. This is going to be a problem because, well, have you ever carried a game with one health? It doesn't go well, because all the enemy does is go Hey look, he does one health. We're just gonna load some HE. Except this C-150 apparently isn't paying any kind of attention. 12T comes rushing in and gets stuck on the dead Cromwell. So he just uses Rick as some cover and then goes ahead <laughs> and just... Hmm? Well, look, he's, he's killing this poor little 12T. Well, he was and then well, Rick picks up the kill. Okay, one more kill on Anakin and this is a... Brothers in arms in the making. 
course, they have both have less than 190 health if you combine them. So maybe this... Uh, Rick is going to have to not die, which... Whew, all, all this T-150 has to do is fire HE. Right? Oh, wait, that is game. So unfortunately, no brothers in arms. That is annoying, but... Considering the fact that he got shot all that time, did 2,679 damage, and blocked another 1,000. In a tier 8 game, this is, this is impressive. Now, it should be noted, he didn't actually come across any tier 9, or tier 8s. It was all the tier 6s he was fighting. But he did fight, like, all the tier 6s. <laughs> 1, 2, 3... Four, five, um, plus the Type 64 at the start. And what else was he sh Oh, he was shooting at the 1375 at the start. So he shot at all but, like, one of the Tier 6s. Oh, no. There's no Type 64 on the enemy team. That's a Type 62 that was shooting at him. Oh. That cranks it up a notch. Yeah, we're going to jump over and see the battle results. This game was a lot faster paced than I was expecting it to be, but it was still pretty awesome. This, in fact, results in the Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, Shellproof, Spartan, Steel Wall, and High Caliber. Wait, he got shot enough for... Oh yeah, of course he did with the, the Cromwell and the, the T-34A5. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. And the T-150 shot actually doesn't count as blocked, even though we did, in fact, block a shot from him. Look at that. <laughs> Good Lord, far and away. Okay, so it's a tier 8 game, mind you. And a cheerier tier had the highest damage from all the tier 8s. Good Lord, what was the rest of our team doing? Oh no, sorry, the Ramato Barsic. I did, for some reason... I, uh, because he's in a platoon, my mind went, hey, that, there's Rick with 2,000 damage. That's not what happened. Um, Rick is way down here, but uh, he still did really well. <laughs> uh, even considering the fact that he only did 500 damage. Um, okay, so without these two, this game would have been totally different. But this is a tier 8 tank. This can load some really good shells for this game and could pop a couple of these guys in a single shell. This can't. <laughs> he had to fire a lot of times and pen a lot of times in order to get this damage. So, yeah, I this is a great game. And, wait, you lost money? I thought this was a premium tank. You did 2,000 damage. Yeah, I know you fired 10 rounds of gold, but still... This isn't a money-making premium tank? That feels weird to me. Maybe it's because it's not a tier 8 premium tank. I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me. Huh. That still feels really weird to me, but okay. W whatever. Either way, you got shot 20 times. I didn't realize it was that high. I mean, I knew he got shot a lot, but 20? <laughs> okay. Uh, well done, sir. This was a great game. Thank you so much for saying that, Nick. Ken. Uh, this was actually a lot of fun to watch, and I can't, uh, I can't wait to see the rest of you guys watch this. Um, please, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you think that uh, Anakin deserves the MB MVP for the week, um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, don't forget. To don't forget to subscribe uh, and hit the little notifications bell. And in all things, thank the patrons for they are amazing and um, make a bunch of the stuff possible. Thank you all. Have a great night. And this is IOE throughout.